We're going to make a PHP class. A class essentially is an object that you can reuse and ultimately it makes programming not only more efficient in the sense that your time used is used better, but you can also reuse a class when you need it. Now you need to think of a class as an object. In fact, uh, one way to think about it is a class is an unimplemented or uninstantiated object and it's sort of the formal structure. Now to begin a class the first thing you do is essentially you come up with a name for it. You put the word class and then you put the name of the class and the next thing is that you have curly braces that encompass the area where you're going to have the different features of a class. Now, a class has two basic elements. One is called a property and the other is called a method. A property generally is some kind of variable with a value. And so you can have a person, for example, as an object and the person can have a handedness. They can be left-handed or right-handed. Uh, depending on how you define it. And so you can define a variable or actually assign a value to a variable as different things. So the, the first thing we'll do is that we'll set up a property and we're going to set it up as prop, as the prop is the name of the variable. And we're going to set the visibility as private. Now that means that this particular variable or property can only be accessed through this class. The name of the class is easy class. So that's how we instantiate a variable that will become a part of the object called easy class, a part of that class. The next thing we do is that we create a special function called the constructor function. If you are used to writing classes in other languages, another way we could do it, we could put in easy class, uh, public function easy class. But in PHP, they allow the option of using the word construct with two underscores. After using it for a while, I found it very easy because you can very quickly identify uh, whether your class has a constructor function or not. You don't have to have a constructor function. Constructor functions automatically launch what is ever in them. So when you declare a class, if you have a constructor function, it will set it up for you. Now the constructor function has um, different elements in it. This one has a, the first, the curly braces encompass the area that your constructor function and here we have something that says this and then a little arrow and then hello. Now this is a private method that we're going to make in a second. Whenever you have a, a private method or a property within a class that you're defining, you use the this statement in front of it and the little line with the arrow is like a dot in a lot of ang uh, other languages. It means it's part of it. Uh, so instead of using a dot in PHP, you use a little uh, dash and a greater than sign or a little arrow. Okay, so that's the constructor function. And the constructor function is going to fire off this, um, this function right here, which uh, we call within a class, we call it a method. So let's see how we make a method. Um, here we're going to have a private function, and this is going to be a method. And like the private property, this can only be called from within the class itself. And this particular function is say hello. And we'll give it a couple curly braces. And then we will put some uh, statements within it. Here we have, it says this prop refers to this variable up here that has a visibility called private. And when we use, again, when we use a private variable, uh, we, we want to use this with it. This is something that has been already defined and we simply put the this. Here the this is the value of prop is hello world and 
when we we use the echo instead of we could use print uh, simple output and we put echo this property so now we have our class okay and it has a single property and it has a single method uh, when when we refer to a function within a class it's called a method and the method that it has is called say hello and it what it does down here it takes the uh, the the private property and we can use a private property within this function because they're all part of the same class now the last thing that we need for this is some way of firing off class, which in other words we're instantiating it as a assigned value to this new variable we have called client. What this does is that when we call the class, when we, it fires everything off for us, uh, within within the this particular PHP uh, program. Later on, we'll see how we can call it from anywhere we want. This is uh, calling a class from within itself has certain limitations, and we'll see what they are. And so we'll, we'll look at this. The same is true with the constructor functions. You don't want to have a constructor function in every class that you have. But for this example, we'll simply have client equal new easy class. Because it has a constructor function, what happens as soon as we instantiate this class as part of a variable that we're calling client, uh, it fires off the constructor function. The constructor function then deals with this private variable, a private method called say hello. And further, the say hello private um, method, a private function, uh, calls a private property uh, or variable and outputs it. And then within the constructor function, we simply put this, say hello. Uh, most other languages just simply put the name of the, um, the function or property. Okay, uh, so let's see what happens with it, and we'll give it a run here. Uh, this is using Safari, and we have called this easy class, and when we run it, it just outputs hello world. So that's the very first class that you have and it's a fairly simple one but it has all of the major elements that you'll find in any class.